Guys, I don't even know where to start today's video. I see all this hype for the PlayStation 5 Pro, and then I see an article saying that the PlayStation 5 Pro, the latest and greatest console, will run games about as well as the PlayStation 3 did. Woohoo! Awesome, dude. But today we're going to go over an article that basically explains that PlayStation 5 Pro games may still be running at 30 frames a second. Now, I understand that not everyone cares about frame rate, but what is the point in buying a PlayStation 5 Pro just to run games at the same frame rate as the PlayStation 5? Well, let's go over the article. PSA, not all PS5 Pro enhanced games will run at 60 frames a second. PS5 Pro's reveal presentation showcased several games with the enhanced visuals running at a steady 60 frames per second. It essentially melds the typical quality and performance graphics options. While this was a main selling point for the console upgrade, it seems not all PS5 Pro enhanced games will run at the 60 frames per second. That just does not sound good. Imagine going out and buying a pro version for a console that was supposed to eliminate 30 FPS, only to still be getting 30 FPS. Totally worth the money, am I right, guys? The base PS5 had 120 FPS marketed on the box, yet the PS5 Pro will still be running games at a fourth of that. In all honesty, if they're big games, Sony should force them to optimize a 60 frames per second mode. What PS5 Pro enhanced games will run at 60 frames per second? According to Tom Warren for The Verge, the PS5 Pro enhanced games will not guarantee 60 frames per second. In fact, he states there will still games that will target 30 FPS despite all of the hardware upgrade. I don't know if you guys are seeing the problem here, uh, what is the point in going out and upgrading your hardware for the same fucking performance? Now, you could argue that, well, that's not really Sony's fault. Sony is not the ones that are responsible for upgrading how the games run, and you're 100% right. However, do you really want to take that chance to go out and buy a PS5 Pro in hopes that the developer of the game that you care about optimizes their game? Because personally, fuck no, I'll just stick with the base PS5. And then you have to take into consideration that the CPU is not getting upgraded, so if it's a CPU intensive game, you can kiss that idea of enhanced performance goodbye. Ahem, <coughs> Space Marine 2. But don't worry, we'll get to the whole CPU side of things later in the article. While Sony wants this new mode in games, the PS5 Pro enhanced label will still be available for a variety of other scenarios that include 30 FPS games. You know, that PlayStation 3 greatness. Says Warren in his article, Developers have the option of increasing the target resolution for PS5 Pro games that run at a fixed resolution on PS5 or even increasing the target maximum resolution for games that run at a variable resolution on PS5. The qualifications for PS5 Pro enhanced games seem pretty straightforward and flexible. Fixed resolution jumps, target frame rate increases, ray tracing, or any mixture of the three would qualify for an enhanced game. This means a base PS5 game that usually runs at 1440p at 30fps increases it res- This guy's terrible at fucking grammar. Increases it resolution to 2160p at the same frame rate is considered enhanced. But even if that is considered enhanced, 30 FPS in 2024 is half of what the standard is. And it is a fourth of what is written on the box of the base PS5. This is further confirmed by Richard Ledbetter of Digital Foundry in his analysis of Grand Theft Auto 6. When speaking with IGN, he points out that previous GTA games pushed the CPUs of their platforms, which is why they typically launch with a 30fps target. 
Additionally, while the PS5 Pro does include a more powerful GPU, it does have the same CPU as the base model which will hinder its performance capabilities. Imagine going out and buying a PlayStation 5 Pro, which is already overpriced as fuck by the way, then buying the expensive Grand Theft Auto 6 game only for it to run the same as on a base PS5. And I find it fucking hilarious how PlayStation fanboys will look to Digital Foundry as if they're Jesus Christ himself, yet now Digital Foundry's telling them that their pro console is gonna run at a fucking pathetic 30 frames a second. So, which games will be PS5 Pro enhanced? There are several titles that have already been revealed that do target 60 FPS, including The Last of Us Part 2, which is literally a fucking PS4 game, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and Gran Turismo 7. Aren't all of those games already 60 frames per second? However, apart from the games shown during the presentation, it is not confirmed which PS5 Pro enhanced games will target 60 FPS, Source, The Verge, and IGN. Now, the PS5 Pro is so disappointing for me because I was kind of looking forward to it. The PS4 Pro was actually a great console. The PS4 Pro came in at a very good price point, only being like $100 more than the price of the base PS4. And you have to keep in mind, the PS4 Pro did not need a stand to stop it from overheating or looking like a beached whale, and came with a disk drive. If you were someone who didn't have a base PS4 and you were looking to get one, and the PS4 Pro was out, you might as well get that. For $100 more, you're getting increased performance, and you're getting the disk drive and stand, so it's like, that's great. The PS5 Pro, on the other hand, you're spending $200 more on, and you're getting no disk drive, so it's 300 if you want to play your physical games, then you gotta spend an extra 35 for the stand. That's not great. In fact, that's a fucking ripoff. The entire point of console gaming is for people who don't want to spend a lot of money on PC or don't care to, like, troubleshoot and all that kind of stuff. But the entire price point of consoles being appealing is being taken from the PS5 Pro when it's so damn expensive. And let's be 100% honest, the PlayStation 4 generation was much better than the PlayStation 5 generation. Well, at least halfway through the PlayStation 5 generation's life cycle. There was just so much more to play. On the PlayStation 5 generation, you barely have that many games, and I know that extends to the Xbox as well. And half the time when there are games, they're remakes and remasters. We had that Last of Us 2 remake, a remake of a three-year-old game that barely looks any different. We had the remake of Horizon, an already great looking game that ran at 4K60. We had the Until Dawn remake, a remake that ran worse than the original. I don't mind the remakes of PS2 and PS3 games because you can't play them backwards compatible, but the remakes of PlayStation 4 games are fucking pathetic. Now, I don't want this video to come off as an attack for anyone who buys the PlayStation 5 Pro. At the end of the day, it's your money, you can do what you want with it, but me, I'ma stick with my base PS5. And that's all I gotta say for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and peace.